Did you know that long flights or road trips might seem harmless, but they can increase the risk of blood clots? Prolonged periods of immobility during travel can lead to a condition known as deep vein thrombosis or DVT. DVT was once nicknamed the economy class syndrome. After a large number of passengers began collapsing after hours spent in confined tight seats on long haul flights. This is no surprise since airline passenger legroom has shrunk 10 centimeters in the last 20 years. As you prepare boarding for a long flight, make sure that you don't dismiss leg pain that can feel like a pulled muscle for a blood clot. DVT is the third most common vascular disease next to stroke and heart attack. The longer you are immobile, the greater is your risk of developing a blood clot. The good news is there are things you can do to protect your health and reduce your risk of blood clots during a long distance trip, like getting up and walking around. Today's topic that's not only crucial, but potentially life-saving, the seven warnings of blood clots. So grab a seat, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into this vital information that could literally be a game changer for you or someone you know. Remember, your health is your wealth, so stay informed with our channel. Hit subscribe, trust me. This is information you can't afford to miss. Let's map things out first. Several risk factors contribute to the development of blood clots. It's important to note that the presence of one or more risk factors increases the likelihood of blood clot formation. Here's more on the topic of risk factors, surgery and trauma. Any surgical procedure or significant injury can increase the risk of blood clot formation. This risk is higher during and immediately after surgery or trauma. Hospitalization, prolonged hospital stays, especially if a person is immobile, can contribute to the risk of blood clots. Cancer. Some types of cancer and cancer treatments can increase the likelihood of blood clot formation. Inflammatory conditions. Certain inflammatory conditions, like rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory bowel disease, can elevate the risk. When it comes to hormonal changes, things like being pregnant, giving birth, or using hormonal contraceptives, especially if you're also a smoker, can up the risk. Interesting fact, back in 2011, Health Canada threw up a warning about Yaz and Yasmin, those birth control pills. They mentioned that while the risk of blood clots is pretty rare overall, it's 1.5 to three times higher with the ones containing Drospirin 1 compared to some other birth control pills. Just something to keep in the back of your mind. Let's talk about lifestyle factors. Smoking, tobacco, Smoke contains chemicals that can damage blood vessels and increase the risk of clot formation. Obesity. Excess body weight is associated with inflammation and can contribute to conditions like DVT. Sedentary lifestyle. Lack of physical activity can lead to poor blood circulation, increasing the risk of blood clots. Dietary factors. High intake of certain foods such as those high in saturated fats can contribute to clot formation. The human body is a complex machine and does not work in isolation. Let's talk about medical conditions that can increase the risk of blood clot. Cardiovascular conditions like atrial fibrillation, heart failure, and heart attack increase the risk of clot formation. Varicose veins, damaged veins, especially in the legs, can disrupt blood flow and contribute to clot formation. Chronic kidney disease, impaired kidney function can affect blood clotting factors. A family history of blood clots can indicate a genetic predisposition to clotting disorders. How many glasses of water do you drink per day? Inadequate fluid intake can lead to thicker blood, increasing the risk of clot formation. Understanding these risk factors is crucial for both prevention and early detection. Individuals with multiple risk factors may need closer monitoring and preventive measures to reduce the likelihood of blood clots. It's important to consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice and risk assessment. Knowing you have a blood clot can be tricky, as you can often write off the symptoms as something else. But there are a few key warning signs to pay attention to. Warning sign number one. This one's a real eye-opener. Sudden unexplained swelling. Picture this. You wake up and your leg is playing the part of a balloon. Not cool, right? Well, that could be your body's way of signaling a potential blood clot. It's like your body saying, hey, pay attention, something's not right. Unexplained and sudden swelling, especially in one leg, can be a warning sign of blood clots. This swelling may indicate deep vein thrombosis or DVT, 
where a blood clot forms in the deep veins, impeding normal blood circulation. When a clot breaks free and travels to the lungs, it can lead to a pulmonary embolism, a serious and potentially life-threatening condition. Point number two, the surprising connection to prolonged sitting, the couch potato or airplane sitting for long hours. Did you know that binge watching your favorite shows or sitting for extended periods can increase the risk of blood clots? It's like your body saying, move it or lose it. We'll talk about how to stay active without sacrificing your Netflix time. Sitting for extended periods can elevate the risk of blood clots. And here's why. When we're stationary for too long, especially with legs bent, blood flow slows down, creating a conducive environment for clot formation. As mentioned before, if a clot dislodges and travels to the lungs, it can result in a pulmonary embolism, a potentially life-threatening condition. So, whether you're binge-watching your favorite shows or clocking in long hours at a desk, remember to stand up, stretch, and move around regularly to keep that blood flowing smoothly and reduce the risk of blood clots. Don't wait until it's too late to learn about the other warning signs. Point number three, shortness of breath. Not always what it seems. Now, we all get winded from time to time, but persistent shortness of breath, especially without any apparent reason, could be a red flag. You see, when a blood clot forms, especially in the deep veins of your legs, it can pose a serious threat. Let's review the science behind it again. When a blood clot forms in your leg, it has the potential to break loose and travel through your bloodstream. If it reaches your lungs, it can cause a blockage. This sudden obstruction can severely impact your ability to breathe, leading to shortness of breath. So shortness of breath can be a signal that a blood clot has traveled to your lungs, affecting the normal flow of oxygen and blood. It's your body's way of telling you that something isn't right, and immediate attention is needed. Now, not all shortness of breath is linked to blood clots, but persistent or unexplained episodes should never be ignored. But here's the deal. The juiciest information is yet to come, and you won't want to miss it. Point number four, the migraine mystery. Did you know that severe headaches, especially those that feel different from your usual migraines, could be signaling a potential blood clot? Stay tuned as we unravel the clues and discuss when it's time to call your doctor. Here's the scoop. Migraines themselves are not directly caused by blood clots. However, for some individuals, especially those with a history of migraines with aura, there could be an increased risk of blood clot-related complications. Studies suggest that individuals who experience migraines with aura, which involves visual disturbances or other sensory symptoms before the headache hits, may have a higher risk of clot-related issues. The exact reasons for this association are still under investigation, but it's believed that changes in blood vessels during a migraine with aura could potentially contribute to clot formation. Now, don't hit the panic button just yet. The link between migraines and blood clots is not a universal rule, and many people with migraines never experience clot-related problems. However, it's essential to be aware of your own health history, and if you're prone to migraines with aura, discuss it with your healthcare provider. If you're noticing any changes in your migraine patterns, experiencing new or severe headaches, or if your migraines are accompanied by other warning signs we've discussed, like shortness of breath or chest pain, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Point number five, chest pains, not always the usual suspect. Now before you panic, not all chest pains are heart related. Sometimes it could be your body warning about a lurking blood clot. We'll dive into how to distinguish between different types of chest pain and when to seek immediate medical attention. Understanding this connection can be crucial in recognizing potential risks and taking appropriate action. When we talk about chest pains related to blood clots, we're primarily referring to a blood clot, typically originating in the legs that breaks loose and travels to the lungs, causing a blockage in one of the pulmonary arteries. The link between chest pains and blood clots lies in the impact of this blockage on blood flow and oxygen exchange. As the clot lodges in the pulmonary artery, it obstructs the normal circulation of blood to the lungs. This sudden interference can lead to chest pain, often described as sharp, stabbing, or persistent discomfort. Now it's essential to differentiate between different types of chest pain. Not all chest pains are associated with blood clots. They can have various causes, including heart-related issues, muscle strains, or even digestive problems. 
However, when chest pain is accompanied by other symptoms like shortness of breath, rapid heartbeat, or coughing up blood, it becomes more critical to consider the possibility of a blood clot. If you ever experience sudden severe chest pain or a persistent discomfort in your chest, especially coupled with other potential warning signs, seeking immediate medical attention is non-negotiable. Prompt diagnosis and intervention can be crucial in managing clot-related complications and preventing further harm. Point number six, coughing. Persistent coughing or coughing up blood could be more than just a seasonal flu symptom. Yeah, it might sound odd, but coughing can be a hint that something's up, especially if you're coughing up blood. Here's the lowdown. When a blood clot travels to your lungs, we call it a pulmonary embolism. It can mess things up and irritate your lung tissue. That irritation might make you cough, and if there's blood in the mix, it's a red flag. Now, don't freak out if you just have a regular cough from a cold or something, but if you're coughing up blood or it's not letting up, it's time to give your doc a shout. And last, but certainly not least, warning number seven, leg pain. Ever experience cramping or pain in your legs that just won't quit? Your body might be giving you a heads up about a potential blood clot. This one's pretty straightforward. Leg pain can sometimes signal a potential blood clot, and here's the deal. When we talk about leg pain and blood clots, it often boils down to something called deep vein thrombosis, DVT. That's a fancy term for a blood clot forming in the deep veins of your legs. Now, if a piece of that clot breaks off, it can travel to your lungs, causing a pulmonary embolism. We've covered that before. So, why leg pain? Well, the clot in your leg can cause swelling and discomfort. It might feel like cramping or a persistent ache. If you notice sudden or unexplained leg pain, especially if one leg is more swollen than the other, it's time to pay attention. Now, not all leg pain means blood clots, but it's one of the signs you don't want to ignore. If you're experiencing persistent leg pain or swelling, don't brush it off. While many people are familiar with common signs of blood clots, such as swelling, pain, or warmth in the affected area, more advanced signs can be subtler and potentially more dangerous. Stay with us until the end. The advanced signs we're about to unveil could be the key to safeguarding your well-being. It's crucial to recognize these more advanced signs and seek medical attention promptly if you experience the following. Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing chest pain or discomfort, sudden severe headache. Blood clots that travel to the brain can cause a stroke, a sudden and severe headache, especially when accompanied by other neurological symptoms such as confusion, slurred speech, or weakness in the face or limbs, could be an advanced sign of a blood clot-induced stroke. Changes in vision. Blood clots affecting the blood vessels in the eyes can lead to sudden changes in vision. Another one is speech difficulties. In cases where blood clots affect the blood vessels supplying the brain, individuals may experience difficulties with speech, slurred speech, trouble finding the right words, or difficulty understanding language can be advanced signs of a blood clot induced stroke, cool or discolored skin. Reduced blood flow caused by a clot can result in cool or discolored skin in the affected area. This can be an advanced sign, especially if the skin takes on a pale or bluish tint. It's important to note that these advanced signs can be indicative of severe and potentially life-threatening conditions. If you or someone you know experiences any of these symptoms, seek emergency medical attention immediately. Time is critical in addressing the complications associated with advanced blood clots, and prompt intervention can significantly improve outcomes. Always consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice and guidance regarding your specific health situation. Remember, your health is your wealth, so stay informed with our channel. Drop a comment below to let us know what hit home for you. We're on a mission to empower you with knowledge that matters. See you in the next video.